Today's video lecture is going to be on organic compounds. Organic compounds are also known as organic molecules or as carbon compounds because they contain carbon. They're also known as organic because they compose living things. Remember, organic things are living things. Now, carbon compounds are very useful. And in fact, carbon is very useful. And the reason why that it, make, it makes up all of these organic compounds is because it forms very strong bonds. And it can, because of these very strong bonds, and because it can form continuous chains of carbon, as you can see here, it for, forms four bonds, okay? With every four bonds, each carbon wants to form four other bonds with other elements. So if we join carbon, and we continue joining carbon into a chain, we're gonna get continuous lengths of chains of carbons. So carbon's always going to want to join with four other things. Because of this, it makes continuous chains and forming the, force, the strong bonds means that it's very useful in living things. It makes these very large compounds. Now, these very large compounds can, even, can be formed into even larger compounds. Now, the single organic compounds that we have are called monomers. Remember, the term mono means one. So a monomer is a single organic molecule or a single organic compound. Now, when we start putting these together into chains, we get what are called polymers. A polymer, the prefix poly means many, and so we have many of these organic molecules pieced together and to what's called a polymer. So each one of these pieces would be a monomer, and then the monomers get joined together and form the polymer into many pieces together, kind of like a train, okay? Each car of a train would be the monomer, and once we get the train all put together, that would be the polymer. Now, these polymers have to be put together. The process that takes these polymers and puts them together is called dehydration synthesis. Now, dehydration synthesis is the proce process. Remember, dehydration, if you are dehydrated, you are lacking water. So we're removing water through the dehydration process. And synthesis means that we're putting things together. Now, when, remember, everything wants to have a certain number of bonds, and oxygen wants to always have two bonds. So if we take this oxygen here and these two hydrogens and pull them apart and put these two together with this oxygen in the middle here, we have removed H2O. So we've removed water. So we're dehydrating these two molecules to be able to put them together. And synthesis is to put together. So the process of putting the monomers together to create polymers is called dehydration synthesis. We're gonna remove water from the, from the molecules and we're gonna put them together. Now, once we remove them all, take the polymers and we want to break them down, we are going to add water to it. Some of you may have heard that polymers are things that absorb water. Well, the reason they absorb water is because if we have a polymer here and we add water into it, it's going to be the exact opposite process of dehydration synthesis. We're adding the water in. Once we add the water in here, we get our OH back in and we're hydrating it. So we're adding water, so we're hydrating it or adding water, which is hydro, and we're breaking apart our monomers. So when we break apart the monomers, the term lysis or the suffix lysis means to break apart. So if we're hydrating, adding water, and breaking apart, this process is called hydrolysis. So the process of breaking apart polymers is hydrolysis. The process of putting them together is called dehydration synthesis. Now, there are four major organic compounds that we are going to talk about, and we're gonna get into the major pieces of these four organic compounds in um, 
structure and function in the next couple of videos. But the four major organic molecules are carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are the main energy source for all living things. Okay? Proteins. Proteins make up the majority of all living things. All of our body parts, our hair, our nails, okay, our skin, our muscles, all of those make up the proteins. Now proteins, their main function is not to produce energy, and we'll get into that, okay? The main function of carbohydrates is energy. The main function of proteins is to make up all the different parts of an organism. Fats and lipids actually repel water, okay? They provide coatings to things. The coatings of our cell membranes are lipids. And the last one is the nucleic acids. These are our DNA, our RNA, our major structures for hereditary information, along with providing some energy, and we'll get into that later too. So we have four major organic compounds that we're gonna talk about in the next couple of lecture videos.